This is the weather forecast video for Friday, February 17th, 2012. Let's take a look at the satellite image from last evening. You can see some cloudiness along the Gulf Coast with some rain showers there and a developing storm coming out of northern Mexico and some scattered clouds over the Pacific Northwest and across New England and eastern Canada. Watch warning map from before midnight. Uh, Flash flood watch over southeastern Texas, fog advisory across the mid-Atlantic down, down into the Carolinas, some winter weather issues over New Mexico and California and the northwest. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock shows the heaviest amounts of precipitation along the Gulf Coast and up into the mid-Atlantic and Carolinas where upwards of 2 to 4 inches of rain is possible in that area. Let's take a look at it. The Zero Z GFS model run at 6 p.m. this evening. You can see there's the piece of energy over northern Mexico that, with a little bit of a trough over that area. A bit of energy just to our north it could produce a few snow flurries or snow showers across Wisconsin and Minnesota. Otherwise, we'll remain partly to mostly sunny with highs in the 40s across the state, maybe even touching 50 in a few locations. Saturday still looks to be decent temperatures in the 30s to some 40s with that storm system on a low near New Orleans with some showers and thunderstorms there that moves off into the mid-Atlantic states for Sunday here we still are seasonably warm with temperatures in the 40s maybe a few upper 30s maybe even 50 but by Monday the dry weather will come to an end with another storm system over the Oklahoma panhandle southerly winds We'll bring some rain, maybe a little bit of wintry mix by Monday night into Tuesday. By Tuesday night, that storm will be exiting the state with some rain or maybe a wintry mix with temperatures dropping back into the 30s for highs heading into Wednesday. Could see some flurry activity with this clipper over Minnesota, but looks like most of the moisture will be to our north and will be remaining light. It remains in effect remains on Thursday and it looks like this will be more clouds and maybe a flurry or two or than anything of importance. A week from today on the twenty fourth, see there's a pretty deep trough over most of the country with the ridge pumping up into Alaska and with that we could see still some snow activity, more flurries if anything across the northern tier, and a new storm developing over the northwest that we'll have to watch later. Here is the infamous February 26th. The energy, this run is a lot slower than yesterday with the energy well back in the desert southwest and Four Corners area, and in turn the low pressure is much further west, now over eastern New Mexico, but wind field, snow, just a fun fun mess and possible blizzard conditions if this is right over the Dakotas and Nebraska and Kansas. The low quickly on the 27th moves to western Michigan and if this is right and we could see some heavy snow, blizzard conditions, severe weather over the Ohio and Tennessee Valley down to the Gulf Coast and by the 28th that low has deepened all the way to 980 millibars over Quebec, cold front along the eastern seaboard, and colder air behind it with a possible snowpack, so we'll have to look at that. At the end of the forecast on March 3rd, eh, pretty zonal across the country, a bit of a trough over the Pacific Northwest with some energy in that area, and at the surface there could be a low developing over the Texas and Oklahoma panhandle again, southerly winds, bring some rain and maybe a little bit of wintry mix across the Iowa-Minnesota border, but this is still way out there in voodoo. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one tomorrow.